All right, media, we are joined by South Carolina coach Don Staley. We are joined also by the student athletes Bree Hall and Raven Johnson. And we will now get opening comments from the coach. Um, we are excited to be moving on to the Elite Eight. Um, just want to just want to say that uh, Indiana is a, a really tough basketball team that uh, that that wanted to move on, and they gave uh, an incredible effort um, in the third and fourth quarter to get themselves back in the game and put us back on our heels. Um, so I, I wish I wish the seniors well, and I know that Terry uh, will get our team back in this position again in the future. Thank you, Coach. We'll start now with questions for the student athletes. Front row first. <clears throat> uh, David Kloniger, Post and Courier. Raven, could you just set up that three-pointer uh, that you shot that kind of put them to bed? What was the play call out of the timeout, and how good did it feel coming out of your hand? I mean, I was open, and all I could think is let it go. I mean, I don't, I don't want to lose. Just going from last year, nobody can sag off me this year, and I, I take that very personal. And I just, you know, get in the gym every day and put up reps, and I think that's where, it co that's what it come from, confidence. Go ahead. Was Repeat the question. The Go play ahead. call was to get the ball in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> right behind. <laughs> Howard Mendel at the next. Uh, congratulations on the win, Raven. I just want to take you back to uh, a statement out of the Final Four. Uh, lost last year, Aaliyah said, this is Raven's team now. How much did you feel that responsibility this year and especially tonight? Um, I honestly don't look at it as that. I mean, we play for one another. And as you could tell, Coach says like daycare and is really like daycare off the court. And we just have a bond that's so strong and we want to see everyone succeed. And I think that's, what's, that's the joy about this team. Like we just want to see everyone succeed and ha we have fun. That's really what it's all about, having fun. Uh, Alan Cole, GamecockScoop.com. A breezy kind of late third quarter, early fourth quarter. It seemed, it seemed like the offense stalled a little bit. Were you seeing anything? Did Indiana change anything? What was kind of happening on offense during that point in the game? Um, offensively, I think we were just a little stuck, uh, just not getting the flow of things. Um, but, you know, we're going to take note of that and, and change some things around. Up here. Oh, hi. Um, Azar Johnson from Envy Sports. I wanted to ask both the players, it seemed like, and, and it's just the eye test, so when certain games get, get crucial like this in the end, you can see players getting sweaty, palms, and getting nervous. You guys didn't look like you broke a sweat. Um, is it because of just everything you've been through this season, particularly like what you went through in the tournament, being undefeated, eyes, all eyes on you, the expectations? Is it just a, are you just used to this and, and that's the reason why? I mean, basically, please explain. Um, honestly, I think it's really just our determination and our motivation. Um, we don't want to lose. Um, we want, you know, all the same goal, uh, and we just love each other so much and they're so confident in each other. I think it's just kind of just having that determination out there on the court and not really getting too shaken by the moment. Yeah, I think, I mean, we have the Don Staley. I mean, we have a coach like that. How can you sweat? <laughs> if she don't sweat, you don't sweat. I mean, hey. I agree. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> Go ahead. Raven. Nancy Armour, USA Today Sports. Uh, this was the best that you guys have shot from three-point range this season. How, how much more dangerous does it make you guys that teams can't take off on, you know, they can't not shut you down outside, not shut you down inside? Because uh, you can hurt them both ways. I mean, you can't just shut one player down on our, on our team. We have threats from all over the court. We have threats on the bench also. I mean, you just, it's, it's hard to guard our team because we just bring different weapons. And I think when it comes to scouting us, I mean, like you said, we can shoot from outside, we can dominate in the paint, we have drivers, we have everything. I mean, how can you guard us? That's how I look at it. I mean, we gave up a 17 or 20 point lead. Oh, okay. I think Questions, we were just folks? tired. Yeah. <laughs> Last call. Okay, right here. Second round. Brief for you. I, I'm just curious how beneficial you think it will be to have had this close game like you had here um, as you guys are preparing for the rest of the tournament? Well, you know, we'd rather not have a close game like this, of course, but 
I think it'll be beneficial just because, you know, when the pressure is on, we have to be able to execute. And we'll look back at this game and see that we were able to execute um, and uh, defend as well. That was one of the key things for that game. They were really good three-point shooters. And when it comes down to it, we got to get a stop. All right, student athletes, thank you very much. Thank you. And congratulations. <laughs> thank you. We'll now take questions for the coach. Start right here. Second row. Hey, Dawn. Uh, congratulations on the win. Um, question for you just about the way you built this team out of last year. This is a team that shoots about 40% from three. Uh, how much was this done with the way this came down the stretch? in mind, making sure that you're able to uh, look for those, uh, you know, those shots from beyond? Well, I mean, any time that you are trying to put, a, put together a championship team, um, you, you figure out what your weaknesses are, you figure out what people scheme, um, the play against you, and you just try to plug in, plug in players that can, that can help us, um, that can help us actually combat that. Um, I mean, does, does Pow Pow help us? Absolutely. Absolutely. She helps us um, in, in more ways than just being a great three-point shooter. Um, she's a great sp floor spacer, um, can't double team our, our bigs as much. Um, her work ethic off the court and her ability to, to bring other players into the gym with her um, to get shots up. Um, I think um, once we lost, uh, Coach Schmill, um, last year we went and got Winston Gandy, you know, who is, you know, I, I think he's an awesome um, player development coach that, that has worked with our guards tirelessly um, every single day. He makes sure they get their shots up. Um, so it's, it's all of that. Like it's, it's, um, it's having Coach Boyer who has more coaching experience than, than all of us probably put together. Um, is having Coach Law, um, who again has more coaching experience than I do, and this is, is bringing along some youngsters like Khadijah Sessions and Mary Woolley. They both have um, incredible like gifts in, in understanding the game and seeing things and giving uh, much needed um, suggestions on the bench. Um, so it's all of those things. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy for our team, obviously. Uh, we like to, to get a lead and, and hold serve throughout. Um, that didn't happen, and we know it's not going to happen with teams like Indiana, teams like Oregon State now that um, no lead is safe. So uh, it's good to get this game in, um, but I would much rather have it um, smooth sailing. <laughs> Congratulations, Coach. Um, Marvin Chambers, 4.0 Sports Media and Entertainment. Coach, were you surprised when you guys was doing two-man game with Cardosa that they stayed in man so long? No, they, they, they actually played zone in the second, came out in the third quarter, playing a little bit of zone. Um, I mean, we were shooting the ball at a pretty good clip. So, I mean, you take your chances with um, having a double Camilla or just squeeze her a little bit down in the paint or give us some wide open threes. Um, so I wasn't surprised. They, I, th I thought they did a good job of keeping us off balance. Um, I thought in the third and fourth quarters, we took some ill-advised shots. And that's, that's been the tendency of our, our young basketball team is when, we, when we're able to build the lead, they pretty much think any shot is a good shot. And I thought today we took some bad shots that led to some easy buckets for them. And we just have to control those situations a little bit better. Right here, then here. Ben Pickman from The Athletic. Um, what, if anything, did you learn about your team tonight? Um, I, I mean, I've only learned what I've, all, what I've already have known, and that's, you know, we got a resilient basketball team that they, they don't like losing. Um, they are able to make plays on both sides of the basketball through, through great play, through shoddy play, through um, having a lead. Um, having built the lead and then get it down to one uh, make and having it to be a one possession game that they were able to play their way out of it um 
So we are the habits that we've created, good and bad. Okay, right here. Hey, Coach Doug, uh, Doug Farmer the AP. Two-part question. What did you see when they were making that run from your guys' side of it? And second, Raven said that the players just get the ball in the basket, but what actually was you hoping to get in that open three she hit? Um, I mean, we wanted to get the ball to Camilla. And Camilla, um, they collapsed on Camilla, left Raven wide open. And, um, I mean, I wanted her to shoot it. I, I mean, I was mouth and shoot it because she was so wide open and she shot it in rhythm. And when, you know, when it's like that, good, bad, or indifferent, it's a, it's a really good shot to take. And I'm happy that Raven stepped up. But be, before that shot, I mean, I, I saw in Raven's eyes when it was coming down the stretch and they, you know, our lead was diminishing. Um, I, I knew she wasn't going to let us lose. I knew she was going to do something. Um, and she had, she had two big baskets, that the three and then the mid-range shot in the lane. And then she made one of two free throws. So a lot of that was her making big plays, instinctive plays um, that, you know, really good point guards do when they need to do it. Uh, Billy Did I answer Witt. your second part of your question? Just what do you see when you guys were struggling? What do you uh, see when you guys yeah, were struggling? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know why. And as much as you want to call a timeout and stop the bleeding, um, I also knew that we were going to need the timeouts because it was going to be that kind of game. So I just tried to control it, slow it down a little bit, and um, play call from the bench. Um, they saw some other things out there, you know, like, uh, I mean, we, we, we called the play to get Camilla the ball and Breezy. I mean, they overplayed Breezy, um, so she popped back in the corner. Any other time is a good read. Any other time is a good read. She took the, the, the corner three that probably ended up um, them, it probably ended, it, it actually ended up with, we, with us having um, an imbalanced transition defensively wise. And I mean, if it's in the flow of it, great, but we needed Camilla to touch the basketball. And maybe uh, once she touched it and they collapsed on her, let Breezy get her feet set and take a better, uh, a, a better, more um, predicted shot. So what I'm seeing is a young team just trying to fight to, to actually get a basket in versus getting a stop, and it, it has to reverse itself. Okay. Last one is here. Uh, Billy Witz with the New York Times. Gotcha. Uh, did, can can you maybe describe just the point or the process when you believe that Raven taking that shot was a good was good for the team and just the you know, over the course of the season the work that she put in after last season um I mean I, I see the work that Raven puts in every single day um every single day she gets shots up before or after practice um they they have a a quota to meet each and every day so um, I see that before, I see that after. Um, so I don't think about last year. I don't think about, I don't think about any of that when it comes to Raven. Now, it, it might be embedded in Raven's head. Um, and, and if it is, um, it's helping her to, to overcome it. And, and some players need that in their lives. You know, they need that type of friction in their lives to, um, to make them work a little bit harder, um, to, to meet the moment when they need to meet the moment. Um, but certainly I know it's a, a, a feather in her cap knowing that she was able to knock down that shot. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.